Today's offering is a rather detailed map created in Incarnate, an online mapping tool that people use to create worlds for their tabletop role-playing campaigns. It's a miniature recreation of the world of light from the game A Link to the Past but when it comes to combining resources to create buildings like the palace and the asylum, Inspiration86 has managed to create pretty convincing versions of the places we all know and love. Even if the palace doesn't actually have a wood floor, Incarnate is a tool that provides the mapper with first-hand resources, be they trees, rocks, or buildings, and you'll see plenty of them in Inspiration 86's version. From green huts in the swamps to waterfalls in Zora's domain, I understand that a player shouldn't ruin the game by constantly acting like an idiot. But players shouldn't be denied the opportunity to play the role as they see fit. My only experience with real DD ended badly when the DM told me I couldn't drink my own piss-like. Bear Grylls. In fact, I used a 16-bit world light map for random encounters in my online DD games when we switched to Roll20. In addition to the pro account, I also bought a monster guide so I could drag and drop villains into the collected stats. However, I wouldn't want to play with those people who push all the arcade machines to their limits. She moved to Canada a few years ago, but she has tea brought back from England because she has good priorities. When I got the dynamic exposure option with the pro account, I tried adding borders around the field so that she would make shadows as they moved across the field. Yes, I realized it was a way to lure us into the fight at the nearest lake. But a good DM would have done a better job of hiding the obvious defeat.